Hello learners this is Habiba with Excel with me if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below let's start today's class that is aims of research as scientific activity under the topic research in education with the subtopic aims of research as scientific activity problem solving theory building and prediction let's begin with the introduction the ultimate aims of research are to generate measurable and testable data gradually adding to the accumulation of human knowledge obviously whatever research we do we want to enhance our knowledge whatever knowledge we have everybody would like to enhance their knowledge by searching again and again for new truth and values here research which will generate measurable which can be measured whatever uh, problem is there to find out the solution we test the data whatever data is collected testing data and gradually adding everything whatever related to that and then we will come to some conclusions and we will get knowledge from it however simple the phenomenon or however easy it appears to be to generate logical and intuitive answers scientific research demands rigorous testing for a truth to be accepted whatever phenomena whatever occurrence however easy it appears but to generate some logical and predictions intuitive it, this could be the possible solution for this intuitions also are very important for the answers and then scientific research what does it demands rigorous testing that means uh, hard work towards collecting the data and finding out making the statistics and then coming to the actual truth which could be accepted or rejected scientific research demands rigorous testing not simply doing any research not like that it need to be systematically with standardized test tools are used and then they will come to the conclusion whether the truth could be accepted or rejected now it is important to understand that theory building concept constructing that is inductive study and theory testing or theory checking out that is deductive research are each crucial for the advancement of technology obviously we know two types of research are there that is inductive studies and then deductive studies inductive is particular to general we see the example first and then we will generalize the things and then deductive we will generalizely take the things and then we will go to the particular thing or particular decision that is deductive research elegant theories aren't pre precious if they do not match with reality research are not elegant if they don't match with reality we cannot take just imaginative things it should match and trustworthy measurable things then only it is a best scientific research activity now likewise mountains of data also are useless till they are able to contribute to the development to meaningful theories obviously we are collecting the data continuously mountains of data is useless if they don't contribute to the development of the meaningful theories we want meaningful theories so why research is then to have some knowledge meaningful those are the meaningful theories which could be useful for the future generations to work upon then depending on a researcher's training and interest scientific inquiry may additionally take one of two feasible forms that is inductive or deductive just i told you they can take two forms these research training and interest and scientific inquiry whatever do they can take two forms number one in inductive research the goal of a researcher is to infer theoretical principles and patterns from observed facts first they take theoretical patterns then observe and then generalize the things and come to the conclusions with the observed facts then what is inductive research the goal of the researcher is to test principles and styles recognized for concept the use of new empirical data 
so these are the two forms how researchers work upon then hence inductive research is also called theory building research obviously inductive research what we do we build the theory from particular we will build the theory and we go and generalize and the deductive research is theory testing research that means we take the theory and then we test and we come to the particular conclusion there now note right here that the aim of theory testing is not simply to test a theory it's not just simply to test theory however likely to refine improve and extend it obviously whatever research would do we will do in theory testing or we can call it as deductive research it's not just what is the aim it is not simply to make the theories and test the theories no it's refining whatever testing is done refining will be there improvement on that and then it will be extended for further researcher or further uh, finding out the exam uh, taking it as the example then what is the cycle of this research first theory then uh, in deductive what happens test the hypothesis and go to the observations and inductive what happens generalizations from observation and then they go to the theory generalize for observation and then they go to the theories so this is the cycle of research now what are the aims of research as a scientific activity scientific means it should have some proof scientifically it should be truth we cannot take vague answers to any problems so it should be proved scientifically inquired scientifically that means they should have some uh, proof to that the purpose of scientific research is to find out laws and postulate theories that can give an explanation for natural or social phenomena or in different phrases build scientific knowledge obviously what is the purpose of this scientific research to find out the laws what are the proper laws and then make the theories which can explain for natural or whatever social related to the society whatever issues are there and in different meaning we can call it as scientific knowledge which has some proof we are not just generally saying anything whatever we are saying it has some proof to it it is critical to remember that this expertise may be imperfect or may be pretty a long way from the truth so what is the uh, what is critical here that is maybe positive and negative things will be there it can be perfect or imperfect in whatever truth we bring out through the research now given that theories and observations are the two pillars of technology or science scientific research operates at two levels now what are the two levels a theoretical level and empirical level what is a theoretical level the theoretical level is concerned with developing abstract ideas or concepts about a natural or social phenomena and relationship between those concept that is constructing the theories that means what we take we are concerned about whatever abstract that means uh, whatever attributes are there emotional maybe whatever intelligence whatever ideas are there in the mind they will take in the natural or social occurrence and they find out the relationships and bring the concepts and construct different theories then the second one is an empirical level what is empirical level the empirical level is concerned with testing the theoretical concepts and relationships to see how well they reflect our observations of reality with the goal of ultimately building better theories that means we are giving some proof by testing and using some techniques and measures and tools so empirical means we should have some data to prove the concepts and build the theories upon that that is an empirical level over time a theory becomes more and more refined it's the observed reality better and the science gains maturity 
what is research actually finding out again and again what happens if we find out the theories again and again it will become refined and better with lots of different solution and it fits the observed reality much much better and then science gains maturity through this our world is the example how was the world of uh, so many years thousands of years back and now we can see the refinement in that now scientific research involves continually moving back and forth between theory and observations obviously what is what uh, this scientific research involves continuously we will go back and see the things and will move forward with the observations this is the cycle happens both theory and observations are essential components of scientific research obviously whatever theories are built up already we check it out and we go and observe and we come to the conclusions for instance relying solely on observations for making inferences and ignoring theory is not considered valid scientific research so both complement e each other so theories and observations are very very important we cannot take one as important aspect now let's see what are the main aims of this scientific activity first one observe what we do to observe the world around us and ask to ask questions about why things are happening what is observation actually we are asking some questions why these are these things are happening for example if i take to study the academic achievement of the secondary school students uh, in particular area so what i will do i will observe the things Wh what are the causes for Uh, maybe declining or improvement or achievement what are the things happening there i will find out observe the thing i will ask the question myself and i'll try to find out by searching the theories and um, uh, collecting the data and come to the conclusions so observation is very important first observe and ask some questions then describe what is describing describing the overall behavior of the subject is the first stage of any research i am uh, first i will find out one problem then i will describe what is the first stage of this thing describing what is the intention of all the uh, uh, intention of doing this research taking this question whether it is case study or a full blown true experimental design i will describe that then predict what i will predict express personal opinion favoring one side or the other i will find out review of literature and then i i will see i'll form my objectives and then i'll prepare my hypothesis whether to go to one side or the other side one must make a statement predicting hypothesis what she or he expect the final answer to be first i'll predict the answer for my question then i will move forwards first i will observe and i will ask a question and describe everything what kind of thing i want to do it with this question then i will predict i will hypothesize what could be the probable solution for this question then i will determination of the causes then statistical procedures are then utilized to either prove or dis disprove the hypothesis and prediction then i will uh, take any questionnaire or what type of thing i want i will take the samples and statistical measures i will take and then i will come to the uh, understanding of the causes and then what i will do explain the aims of research may be to establish what are the underlying causes and relationship between the different processes fueling this trend personal opinion must be put aside and both sides of the debate must be given equal credence we now we cannot stick to our personal uh, solution what we have already hypothesized we should take the statistical measures and come to the conclusion what are the main causes and what are the main relationships between different processes coming in these years or whatever happening personal opinion will be put aside debate must be how it should be given equal credence to whether to reject or accept 
now new then come to the last one that is new directions whatever the final answer it can be used to promote a healthy debate and discussion about the validity of the results now the aims of research can then be fine tuned or may serve to open up new areas of interest either way the store of human knowledge has been enriched and increased obviously now we will forward we will suggest the things these are the things had had happened what could you do you can do in future we can give suggestions there we can give new directions to the further researchers here now let's conclude this topic conducting scientific research therefore requires two sets of skills that is theoretical and methodological needed to operate in the theoretical and then empirical levels respectively so methodological skills that is know how are relatively standard invariant across disciplines and easily acquired through doctoral programs however theoretical skills that is know what that is is considerably harder to master requires years of observation and reflection and are tact skills that cannot be taught but rather learned through experience obviously from the toddler itself we will not learn just like that through our experience once i will do this if anything is wrong then i will try to refine that and then again i will see past experience and then i will move forward with correct ones so this is the procedure happens know what should, what i should do that is the important thing all of the greatest scientists in the history of mankind such as galileo newton einstein adam smith charles darwin and herbert simon were master theoreticians and they are remembered for the theories they postulated that transform the course of science obviously methodological skills are needed to be an ordinary researcher but theoretical skills are needed to be an extraordinary researcher so on this note we come to the end of this session if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below thanks for your attention and time happy learning